Okay, so this is a 2016 Mercedes-Benz 3500 Super Singles, which means it has, it's a 3500, 4,000 pound weight carrying capacity, but yet it only has single wheels. As you can see, we're going to be converting this vehicle into a fully outfitted camper van with running water, hot and cold running water, uh, shower, um, bed, cabinetry, stove, everything else we just began. Um, it's pretty much basic. This is how it came with no uh, inner walls or what have you. We've just uh, been taking down the lighting. This is going to be our fan right there. We're going to put solar power on the roof. Um, there's the kitchen sink right there and the stove laying on the ground. Uh, custom made stove from Tejas Cookers. We had that custom made for us uh, in Texas. And we just put up the propane tank. You can kind of see it's perfect clearance. You can see like that, barely hangs down. Uh, put the angle iron bracket up there. And uh, no, I didn't glue it up. This is some glue for some other stuff. And uh, we bolted it in real nice. And the hose is coming very soon. And we put a few, uh, fittings up through that hole right there into the back and then screwed these into that to drop down this bracket for the propane tank um, and then just put some uh, LP premium construction adhesive made by Loctite. It's the best stuff. It dries like incredible so that will lock those. Uh, they put lock washers on there but that will lock those nuts into place because uh, that stuff pretty much never comes off. <laughs> don't get it on your fingers and uh, eventually we will put a auxiliary uh, tank over on the other side of the fuel tank like that that's a in the future and we just put a um, we just put the draw tight hitch on there um, like that which requires um, one of these controllers we had to shove it in here because otherwise the system won't work like that. So we wire that in, hooking into the tail light, put that back in there, and just gonna let it sit like that. Make sure none of your wires are rubbing against anything. And we ran all the wires down through. There's a hole right. You can see that right in there, and we hooked into the tail light, which easy pops out. I'll show you on the other side right here. If you can see that, there's a hole right there that goes down um, through, you can access, and right there as well it goes through. And that, that hole right there, and over here, goes through down behind the, the fender, like that on both sides. But the problem is, as you can see on this side, is we can't get access to it. Now, it does have these plugs right here. So this is a 2016, right? And this is a 170 wheelbase. It does have this plug right here, which pops right out. But unfortunately, there's no access on the inside. That just goes to this whole area. There is an access in through here. If you want to pop that out but then you have to run it through here and I didn't feel like doing that so I just we'll see on the other side now I just uh, this is the box that the hitch came in from Amazon we got tons of stuff from Amazon probably really good customer by now uh, right here you can see what I've done with the hitch wiring is I just took a what is that half inch uh, hole saw uh, one and a half inch looks like and uh, got all my wires, pulled them through here, and fed them up through the top, through that hole I was just pointing to, and uh, ran them in, taut them up nice and tight, and uh, put the, got one of these guys on Amazon at, uh, as well, um, where you got your four pin right there, and your seven pin right there, and most trailers don't have a, have a brake controller, so, that's what this so this is for the, the the hot wire to supply for this. We don't have our batteries yet. We're special ordering some Outback batteries, which will go. 
up right there. We're gonna build a bat a, a pack for an uh, NE106. It fits it fits right in there. We're gonna build a, a thing and right in also on the other side in the front of the wheel behind the propane tank there's another spot that will fit another battery and then we'll tie them together and we'll run them up we're going to put another hole right up there just like on the other side and run it up through the roof we're going to have solar panels we already have the panels on the top we're going to put them in tomorrow and uh, like that so we're going to tie this wire which is a hot wire for the seven pin plug and oh sorry for the sound um uh when those get when those get here and that's going to fill the hot wire instead of from our battery and because uh, we're going to run some things inside of our trailer and we don't want to run down our battery uh, if you're wondering why we're going to do that and then this is this other wire right here this one which I need to still tie up is for the reverse lights which my um, which my uh, four pin doesn't the, the, the controller I showed you up there doesn't have so I'm gonna have to if I ever want to pull a, a boat trailer or what have you uh, I'm gonna have to put a, a Solenoid or something like that controlled by a switch on the dash or or what have you um, and grounded it right there and What else you around the wires up to the front? Uh, this is Yeah for our our our, uh, our our brake controller right there, and that's the power that unit that I just showed you up there uh, from the engine battery. So now we'll take a look. I just thread, ran those wires through up underneath, over, and then you run them up through here, through this boot right here. You can see where I ran them right up to the boot. Just threaded them through down, you can see like that. And this is where I'm gonna put the, the, uh, the extra gas tank through here eventually and put a um, bulkhead fitting on the opposite side. There's a nice flat spot in the back and then run it into here. And then I can fill up both tanks through the same thing. It'll just fill up this tank. And as this tank fills, it'll, it'll go down to back here. I'll have a bulkhead fitting. We'll just make a U-turn back into there and they'll both fill and empty at the same time, like one gigantic tank. Oh, and that's where the other um, house auxiliary battery will go right up in there. I'll build a bracket and it'll tie together. Okay, let's go inside and look at the, and you can see the, where I ran the, those wires right up through here and up right there. You can see them right there. So let's go up front, look at the brake controller. And this isn't going to be edited. As you can see, we're just, you know, I originally put it down here. Um, I don't like it there. Um, and uh, so there's nothing connected so I haven't played with this too much because when you're when you're here if you're tall like me I'm 6'2 um, then there's a danger of possibly when you're coming in and out or whatever there's a danger see my, my leg kind of bumps into that so I'm probably going to remount that I don't like it down there it's just in the way I don't know somebody's going to be jumping through and just bam and it's going to it's gonna go you know, bummed out on the road. So I'm gonna mount it right here, I think, like that. And I might put some tail light tape over that if it becomes too bright at nighttime. Those those um, prodigy, what does it say? P2. And there's another one that and you can adjust, whatever. And so many different things. Okay. And uh, that's it for now. We got this fancy. Um, thing right that we're gonna put swivel seats put these swivels on we're gonna have a deck right here and all types of good stuff and the battery is up underneath underneath there okay uh, that's uh, all for now